Welcome to part 8 of the series on business process automation. This time we talk about the combination of RPA and BPMS, where the robotic process automation system is the client. We look again at our example with the customer relationship management system and here in the diagram behind me you can see the sub workflow. The first task, customer exists. In this task, we go to the customer relationship management system and look up if the customer exists. And if yes, we return a Boolean value to the business process management system with a value true. And then the system can go to the end of the sub process. Otherwise, we have to continue with the task company exists. Remember, it's the RPA robot that is the client here, the active part. Now we want to use the elaborate orchestration capabilities of the business process management system for load balancing and fault tolerance here. In the business process management system we create one role for each task, that is four roles. In the RPA system we create four scripts, each specialized for one task. We create at least one robot for each script. We can create more robots for load balancing and fault tolerance. For all four tasks, we start the work items automatically and assign them to the robot with the shortest queue. The RPA script at a high level looks like this. We pull the work queue of the business process management system. If a work item is available, we read the work item and then we interact with the system, in this case the customer relationship management system. Afterwards, we write the work item data and complete the work item. And then we go into an infinite loop. If there are no more work items available, we idle for a while. And we can set a timer to any value we want, 5 minutes or whatever. At a more detailed level, the RPA script looks like this. We open the business process management system and log in as the customer exists bot 1 here, for example. So the idea is that the customer exists bot is a role and then that we have several individual bots numbered 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 to allow for load balancing and fault tolerance. Then we open the started queue of the business process management system. We refresh the work queue and then we look for the work item name in this case, customer exists. If a work item is available, we open it and get the customer name from the work item and then open the customer relationship management system. We check if we are logged in, if not, we do this and then we navigate to the customer page and look for the customer name and then close the customer relationship management system again. Then, if the customer exists, we check the customer exists box in the form of the business process management system and we complete the work item and then we go into our infinite loop. As you can see, the RPA script is really simple. When an individual robot fails, its work queue will become longer and because of our strategy of the shortest queue, it will not receive any additional work at some point in time. So a supervisor of the bot farm can simply assign the work items of a crashed robot to another robot. So wrapping up, by combining business process management and RPA in this way, we get a solution that is easy to set up and maintain. That's all for now. I'm happy to hear from you. Thank you for watching.